top. Um, but it but it means to disregard, all right? To to disregard the, to to uh, in other words, you disregard the grace. You don't you don't acknowledge the grace. But the scripture says now, if somebody read the scripture, it said this part says, for if righteousness come by the law, then Yahweh Shah is dead in vain. So they say, see. But Paul said we don't frustrate the grace, but it said righteousness don't come by the law, so we could break the law. But that's not what it's talking, yeah, about. talking about. It's saying Paul is saying, look, we're not gonna be saved by the law. Exactly. All right. But that don't mean you you, you frustrate. You don't uh, you disregard the grace. Yeah, because you had them Jews back then. Yeah. Who saw salvation through the works of the law. Yeah. And they didn't believe in the Lord, man. They didn't believe that He was the Messiah. They didn't have faith in Him. That's why they was called. That's what Paul seventy said in Romans the ninth chapter. He says. I say the truth in Yahweh Shah a lot not. Because they was calling Paul a liar. Yep. And they wasn't even keeping the law. Yeah. They was just executing the law towards others, mainly mainly us, you know. And they were telling the Israelite for they had to keep the laws 100 percent too. Yeah. Like when Paul said uh he was hit with 40 stripes by the by the Jews when he was talking in, uh, I believe Corinthians the 13th mm -hmm. chapter. When he was talking about all the all the things he went through, when you when it said he was uh hit forty times forty stripes by the Jews, that's in the law. That's in yeah. a, that's in Deuteronomy twenty three and one. It tell you that uh, if a, if a man get into a disagreement with another and he's wrong, that's how he's supposed to be chastened. So so them Pharisees they was quick at executing the law, but they wasn't quick at uh they wasn't rehearsing it, you know. But they was executing it towards others. So they was being hypocrites. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's it on that. That was the point on that. What you wanted me to get right? Um, I think it was a, it probably wasn't in Deuteronomy twenty-three and one. I think it was another scripture that you had just mentioned. Uh, we'll put it in post production. Because right. twenty-one is when the privy member is cut off. Right, right. <coughs> but this is how we put it in post production. Right, right. Over, you know, First Peter is one and two, and right. Romans chapter one, verse one and two. Okay. <coughs> First Peter chapter one, verse two, and Romans chapter one. You know, we can wrap this up by like another 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You know, Jake got a short attention span. Yeah, kind of slack it, slack it. Don't worry about it. Take your time. Yeah. So this point of the show is you can't make yourself a part of the elect. It's about predestination. That's in the scriptures right there. Okay. This is uh first Peter's. One and two. One and two. When we just start from one. Oh, uh, kind of, yeah. All right, first Peter's one and one. It says, Peter an apostle of Yahweh Shah to, right. the, to the strangers. Scattered. Strangers, which was Israelites, okay. for those of you who don't know. Go on. Right, it says, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus. The word there for scattered is diaspora, which means Israelites scattered amongst foreign nations. Right. Look it up. Go on. All right, it says, scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Mm hmm Elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High, the Elect Father. according to the foreknowledge. According to the knowledge that the Heavenly Father had before Him. Right. Go on. It says, uh, <coughs> through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience. Mm. And the unto obedience. Through okay. sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience. So the elect beforehand was chosen and made holy to the obedience. Go ahead. Right, it says, uh, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shah. Oh, and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shah. So what that mean? The blood is only on the elect. <laughs> the blood is only on the elect. The Lord only died for the elect. Yeah. That's, hey, and who are the elect? We got, we, got, we, got to, we got to end it off with that. <laughs> you know, Revelation 7? Come on, come on. We got to end it off with that, Lord willing. You know, go ahead. It says, grace unto you and peace. Gr Let me read that again. Put the emphasis. Grace, grace, yeah. unto you, and peace be multiplied. So, because yeah. peace is only for the, uh, the yeah, yeah, I got it, I got yeah it, I got peace it. is only for the elect. If I could just get a scripture right quick, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, That's because right. peace is only to the elect, and, and the peace to the elect is not the peace according to this world. Yeah. All right, it's not. It's not everybody gathering together and everybody holding hands. Join the caravan of love. Yeah, the elect gonna be in fellowship with the, with the whole world. So like, you know, just want to find this. How thing. in the hell is the, how in the world is the most high going to do with Israel in the beginning, but then in the New Testament he's going to do it everybody? Like and like you had told me the other card said, they act like the most high was an immature God in the Old Testament. Yeah, and in the yeah. New Testament he got more mature. 
Like I was immature. Like he had to learn from us. Yeah. People got a lot to pay for, man. Go ahead. You know, Salaki, I can't find it off the top. What scripture was it? Uh, I would. Thank, you know what? It's, oh, I was in Matthews. It's John. Okay. It should be John, St. John 14 and 27. Because it says, peace unto you. Now the peace, just to furthermore push that out, the peace is not yeah. the whole world joining hands and stuff. This is, now this is a, and this is the Lord speaking, his red letter. Right. This is St. John 14 and 27. Peace I leave with you, which is talking about, this is the Lord talking about the elect, to the apostles, all right? Starting with the apostles, but even on to the rest of the elect. It says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. And what's that peace? This word. Yeah. That's that's the peace. That's the okay? peace. The peace is the word. That's the comforter. Yeah, the comforter. Okay? Not no black dude in, in Harlem. Some fat black nigga in Harlem. Okay? <laughs> or wherever he at now. You know, hope he's dead. <laughs> yeah. I hope he's not dead. So or just so preserved for the way. missiles. Yeah. yeah. Just hide out until you, you know, for the missiles. <laughs> it what says, it, it says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth. So it's not as the world. Because what does the world give? Oh, everybody together. And what's the rest of the world? Israel, man. They, they say, oh, yeah, peace is that we got to be in fellowship with the other nations. You know, we got to follow their customs, share our customs. But that's 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 the customs of that's the customs of the world. In other words, the kingdom of heaven not going to look like a damn Jehovah's Witness pen. Yeah. You know, white people here, black people here, sitting in harmony harm and all that. Yeah. Nah, man. I don't mean to laugh because brother made me laugh, you know. But yes. no, you know. But no, it's that that that's just the way that it is, man. The kingdom of heaven not gonna be. Like, they have a sprinkling of different nations everywhere together. It's not. It's it's not gonna be like that. It's not gonna be like a commercial for the Olympics. You got a black kid here, a Latino kid here, a um, Chinese kid here, a white kid here, a Hawaiian kid here, then an African kid. It's not gonna be like that in the kingdom. It's gonna be just Israel ruling and the other nations in subjection. Yeah. You know. What? It says, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. So the Lord ain't going to give peace according to the, yep. the doctrine of peace of this world. Yep. Which is really the new world order. Yeah. Right. It says, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Why the Lord say that to, elect, to the elect? Because the peace that the Lord is going to give to us is going to be the destruction of this world. Yeah. And we're going to witness the destruction of this world. You know, us, the elect is going to witness the destruction of this world. Yeah. He go, and he also going to bring peace when, by shedding his blood to bring us back to the Heavenly Father. Right. You know? Yeah, they, they had to witness that. Yeah. You know, that's why he said don't be afraid because, you know, during, after the Lord was crucified, they started persecuting, you know, the Romans was yeah. persecuting us and stuff. But he and told them don't be afraid. Yeah. And Paul too. Yeah, which the Lord had mercy on Paul. <laughs> yep. You know? That's how the Lord said, um, time will come when he that do it, he that kill it, you going to think he do it the most high service. Right. You know, going into like Paul, that's going, you know? Yeah, Paul. Yeah. Um, that was it on that? Yeah. You can't get Romans 1 and 1 to verse 2. Okay. This is uh, Romans. I don't want to get Psalm 139. All right. This is Romans chapter 1, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Paul, a servant of Yahweh Shah, called to be an apostle, Separated unto the gospel of the Most High. He was called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of the Most High. Go on. He was called to be an apostle. They didn't say he made himself an apostle. Right. He was called to be an apostle. In other words, Paul didn't wake up one morning and say, Yo, I just want to be a prophet and start doing it. He was called to be an apostle. Go on. A it's, holy calling. It says, Which he had promised. No, no, no let me start it from top again. It says, Called to be an apostle. Separated unto the gospel of the Most High. Yeah. So he was separated unto the gospel of the Most High. He was separated from the world, man. Separated from other Israelites. Separated from other Israelites. For the two thirds name. Yeah. The wicked of Israel. Go on. It says, which he have promised afore by his prophets and the holy scriptures. Yeah. Read it again. Wait, what? Which he had promised afore by his prophets and the holy scriptures. Which he had promised before, promised the gospel. That's why the scripture said in the book of um, what's that? First Peter, if I'm not mistaken, what the prophets diligently seek for. Yeah. The, and what time in coming this thing was going to happen. Yeah, and the book of Isaiah tell you that it would be elect of Israel too. Yeah. So, so a fourth a four time, the prophets, the Old, the, the old Testament. The Old Testament mentioned the, the, the elect too. Yeah. You know? That's right. 